Hey guys, how's it going, Capan here? Today I'm going to talk about how I do these videos. Um, the reason I'm talking about that is, you know, every now and then uh, I see the comments on the videos, and every now and then there's some very popular ones in regard to my uncanny speaking ability throughout like a 14 minute video in one pick. So uh, I can understand why this seems amazing because, you know, I watch other YouTubers, I see other YouTubers, they talk for like, you know, five seconds and then they do it again and then there's another five seconds, they do it again, another five seconds. And honestly, I don't have time for that kind of crap because uh, I want to play video games. Um, when I'm making a video, uh, typically I do it in one take. Sometimes I screw up the beginning with the first like, you know, maybe five or ten seconds or something like that. And I'm like, yeah, that sounded kind of bad. So I just do it again. But, you know, in general, uh, aside from maybe one or two cases where like the phone rings or something, uh, just one take is good enough. And uh, I've gotten used to doing it that way for longer than I've been making YouTube videos, as a matter of fact. So I want to tell you guys uh, kind of how I had started with this. So I want to tell, tell you guys about the high school stuff. So when I was in high school, um, I didn't really do very much stuff, but when I moved to high school, I got into one that was rather small, and it was kind of like a pretty nice uh, community. And um, I think I really developed it there, uh, my ability to just talk for long periods of time about one issue and doing, doing it fairly coherently at the same time, which was, uh, I guess, pretty amazing. So I'd have these presentations and stuff that asked me to explain stuff, and I wouldn't mind. I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll explain, I'll explain that stuff for you guys. Just go in front of the class, talk about it. In high school, I was even doing like uh, tutor sessions for the math class. So I was like the, the fake math teacher before the actual math class, and I'd like re-explain everything from the last math class, because you know, some people need extra help sometimes in, in high school. But uh, at the same time, uh, I noticed that uh, a few other people were really struggling with this fact of just talking to uh, a bunch of people uh, about the subject, even if, if the subject that they know a lot about, it's probably something like some kind of presentation, uh, something along those lines where they know absolutely everything about the subject, but you know they get kind of you know frightened, kind of shy when they want to talk to uh, people. So you know, I I think I remember one instance where uh, I told one of the guys like, "Hey man, like we we don't really care if your presentation turns out good or bad. Uh, everyone's your friend here. Everyone's gonna you know applaud you at the end. Uh, if you if you really just you know let it go." Don't feel too stressed about it. Just whatever, whatever happens, happens. Kind of mindset. You'll do great, and I did all right. I mean, you know, considering uh, the individual involved, but that really touched upon, uh, you know, the, the early side of these things. So, you know, just doing it in one take. Uh, the imperfections they'll tell the story as well. I mean, if you don't know something about a subject, the imperfections will tell that, but uh, you'll still gain from it, and the audience will gain from that because. Um, you know, if I wanted to discuss a subject and someone else wanted to discuss the same subject, uh, if we scrutinize how we said everything, uh, it'll come out exactly the same. There's no flavor, you know, there's no spice, there's no hot sauce. So you gotta spice it up a little bit and you gotta do it your own way and put your imperfections out there. Uh, at the same time, you know, when I was getting into YouTube, I, I got pretty, uh, I got pretty late on the, the YouTube action, but I remember seeing a few uh, YouTubers. I think there was one called like The Letter Six. Uh, I checked him out a few months back. He doesn't really make videos anymore, but he's got like 300 subscribers or something. But when I checked him out, you know, you could just Google like World of Warcraft Warrior and this guy's videos would show up. And he was a really genuine guy. He'd do all these videos in one take, talk about the most random crap, but really emphasize on the fact that, you know, there's a certain kind of a way to make a video. You can make a video where you are the YouTuber, you know, you are the person putting the idea out there and you are the person, um, you know, ready for the criticism, but you're doing it honestly. And um, very often uh, he was comparing it to how other people were doing it, that it wasn't really, it was kind of mechanical. It was kind of like, you know, some company makes a video about some crap that no one really uh, gets. So, you know, there's, there's two ways of doing it and uh, it really inspired me when I got started doing videos. Uh, to do it that way. Uh, in my earlier videos, I was a little bit more careful with it, but you know, it was still typically one take. I'll just talk about one subject and I'll piece up the little ums and the little ums and the little chair squeaks and the little parrot sounds in the back. But essentially, uh, it was still one take and um, I really, I really love doing it that way. Nowadays, it's just a matter of practicality. 
You know, if I need to make a 14 minute video, I can't, you know, make it six different times, piece it together and uh, mash that shit all up to where um, you guys can see a finished product like, a, you know, brand new car or something. No, it's not like that. But, you know, doing it in one take, doing it the, uh, the way of the imperfections, doing it the way of the no life, it's been, it's been going pretty well. And uh, I'm glad to see some of the positive reactions you guys have. And I hope you guys uh, learn from my story, learn from my experiences, learn from the methods that uh, I've learned from other people and relay to you guys uh, in regards to, you know, just talking about something. Um, just go for it, really. If you know enough about something, if you actually want to do it. So, you know, when I play video games, I'm honestly interested in that subject. I actually know what I'm talking about most of the time. And uh, it comes easy. So those are really the requirements. And the last is just uh, going for it. So I hope you guys uh, make that decision every once in a while. And uh, you know, we can make uh, at least YouTube a slightly more interesting place from it. That's going to be it, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow.